have some pleasure. What in the world is fourth class pleasure? Relationship? What? The greatest pleasure most human beings will have, have in this world. What's the greatest pleasure your parents have? Kids, right? If I come to your parents and I say, I'll give you $50 million for your daughter, nothing will happen to her. She'll just move to Israel, to a small town. You'll never hear from her again. You'll never see her. You'll never get a letter. You won't know, well, know a thing about her. But you get $50 million. Would they take it? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you gotta ask some parents. What do you say, uh, uh, Revison? Would you take fifty million on one of the kids? No, I got twelve, fifty million. Can't buy one. Yeah, fifty million dollars. That's a reality. Yeah, it's a reality. It's and mind boggling. You see, mind boggling. So that means no exchange rate. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, so. That's a heck of a lot of pleasure, $50 million. You see, you come to this man and you ask him, look, I'll give you $50 million for one of your kids. Which one you got? You got five kids. He says, you're crazy. Get out of here. Scram. Yeah. He says, wait a moment. You know, $50 million, you're not going to take. Tell me, uh, how much time do you spend with your son? Yeah. He says, well, I don't have much time. You know, I, I'm a busy man. I got a big business. I, I make something like uh, $250,000 a year. <laughs> Two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, fifty million dollars, right? You say, friend, two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. You got something worth fifty million dollars. You can have, <laughs> you can have five million dollars income, you know, without doing the stitch of work. Just get. Well, what are you doing, my, my, my son? That's much more important. It's more important. How much time do you spend with him? <laughs> Isn't that obvious? Yeah. If he's so precious, get your pleasure. True? So, you know, <laughs> you convinced him. Off he goes, takes his son. Two weeks, they're going to be together. Yeah? The next morning, you get a telephone call. What's up? He said, I'm going batty. What do I do with the kid? <laughs> he doesn't know how to enjoy his son. But he knows it's much more valuable than $50 million. What does he need? Love tasting. There's all sort of counterfeit coin. In old Jewish consciousness, there was a simple lesson in loving that everybody picked up. We used to call it kvelling. You know what kvelling means? Anybody can identify? Ah, kvelling. You take a look at your kid and you go, hmm, wow. Mm, you can just sit there and enjoy your child. Oh, it's gorgeous. Ah, it's beautiful. You know what they kvell about today? The guy gets a new Porsche. He looks at it, wow, fantabulous, look at those lines. <laughs> New Porsche, right? <laughs> All right, that's only fourth class pleasure. Third class pleasure, come on now. We went fifth class pleasure, it's physical, material, most people chasing it all their lives. That's what they want, that car, that pool, that, that, uh, that, that, that right? A vacation. Fourth class is love. They got it. They don't even pay attention to it. But okay, they know they have something real, valuable. They make sure that the children are happy. They do. They spend an awful lot on their children. Yeah. Third class. Does anybody identify? Remember, no exchange rate. No amount of love will buy you a unit in third class pleasure. What in the world is third class pleasure? <laughs> 